US, but all across the world. Sounds a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? Maybe even a little ridiculous at first? Honestly, I used to feel that way too. But after spending over a year watching and analysing Tesla's bot, especially after all the recent updates, I'm convinced this Optimus is going to be an absolute game-changer. And hey, if you're new here, I'm Danny, welcome to Auto Intel. If you like hearing the latest deep dives into the most exciting tech, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now to help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. It really means a lot. Can you picture this? Five years from now, you could spot a Tesla bot just about anywhere. Tesla factories, city streets, parks, malls, hospitals, convenience stores, and maybe even just chilling next door at your neighbor's place. Do you believe that could happen? It's exactly what Elon Musk is aiming for. That's why he's not holding back investing tens of billions into this bot. Do you think that's too ambitious or just crazy enough to work? Let me know in the comments. Musk even hinted at this on X recently, saying, so many improvements to come in the next design of Optimus. That means Gen 3 is just around the corner. From what we've heard, Gen 3 is going to take a huge leap past Gen 2, packed with some seriously wild features, Tesla's final commercial version. Ready to hear what's inside the next gen Optimus? Let's jump into it. Back in August 2021, Tesla kicked off the Optimus project. Remember that first goofy reveal? A dancer in a suit? That feels like forever ago. Since then, Tesla's been dropping video updates that show steady progress. It was cool at first, but once Gen 2 dropped at the end of 2023, that was a game changer. Elon Musk and the Tesla team clearly believed they were onto something big and customers started buying into the Vision 2. Before we talk about Gen 3, let's quickly recap what Gen 2 already achieved. Optimus Gen 2 could move 30% faster after Tesla shaved 22 pounds off its weight. This optimization gave it smoother, more efficient movement. Its feet were built to mimic humans with force and torque sensors that keep it stable even on uneven ground. Its hands were upgraded to 11 degrees of freedom, up from just five, allowing for tasks as delicate as holding an egg without cracking it. Ever wondered if a robot could fold your laundry or sort color-coded blocks? Optimus Gen 2 could. Its neck gained more freedom too, moving more like a human so it could scan its surroundings better. And Tesla didn't stop there. They built custom actuators and sensors into every joint for better precision. Even its software got a big boost. Powered by neural networks and two-dimensional cameras, Gen 2 can navigate indoors without relying on GPS. Ever imagine a robot assembling parts in a factory or pouring drinks? Optimus Gen 2 can do that, sometimes with remote assistance. Here's the thing, building a humanoid bot is five or six times tougher than making an electric car. Why? Around 70% of the challenge is all about integrating advanced AI. The hardware is tricky too. About 60 to 70% of each bot is put together by hand, not on some automated assembly line. That's what makes the leap to Gen 3 so important. When Elon Musk teased the new design on X last year, we thought we'd see Gen 3 by the end of the year. But Musk acknowledged this in November, tweeting that the toughest part is refining the design so it's easier to manufacture at scale. They want to nail the look, boost efficiency, and cut costs without losing performance all so Gen 3 can hit the market and make Tesla a leader in robotics. Pretty exciting, right? And what will Gen 3 actually offer? The hands alone will have 22 degrees of freedom, double what Gen 2 has. Pretty amazing, huh? Do you want to see a bot that can play the piano, pick up delicate objects, or do complex assembly? That's exactly what Musk and Tesla are aiming for. They even rebuilt the hands, so they're waterproof and hide the actuators and wiring. The Tesla team knows these hands will set the bot apart and help it do hundreds of real-world tasks. That's why they've spent so much time perfecting this feature. Hands with 27 degrees of freedom are closer to mimicking the complexity of a human hand. Sure, 22 degrees of freedom is still a bit short of a real human hand, but it's light years ahead of where they started. Tesla believes these hands could do anything a human can do. Can you picture a bot watering your plants, holding fragile items, assembling electronics, or even serving drinks at a party? Let me know what task you'd give your bot in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. And hands aren't the only upgrade. Movement and flexibility are also top priorities. Right now, most humanoid bots like Boston Dynamics Atlas or Unitree's designs use a bent knee gait. 
Tesla Optimus walks the same way because it's more stable. But people still think the bot looks kind of stiff, sort of like it's shuffling. Would you want a bot that walks more smoothly and naturally? That's exactly what Tesla's working on. Optimus is moving at about 1 meter per second, roughly 2 and a bit miles per hour. Tesla's goal is 5 miles per hour eventually. That's a big jump. And while they might not hit that this year, Gen 3 will definitely improve its stride. And this isn't just about looking better. Faster, more stable movement means Tesla's bot can do real-world work faster and safer. Think about the impact of a bot that can work all day and all night without breaks, no mistakes from exhaustion, better safety in dangerous tasks, and total adaptability. That kind of endurance and flexibility could transform factories, warehouses, and even home chores. Have you ever thought about teaching a robot new skills just by showing in a video? Elon Musk loves this concept. Optimus could learn by watching YouTube or instructional clips, anything from assembling furniture to preparing a meal. Imagine uploading a video of someone cooking a recipe, then sharing that skill instantly with hundreds of bots worldwide. Would you like a bot that can pick up new talents as easily as you do? That's where Optimus is headed. And that's a big part of what will make this bot invaluable. Sure, most people can't buy one outright if it's 25 to 50 grand, at least not at first. But would you choose a Tesla bot over a Tesla car if you had that money to spend? Personally, I would. A car is parked most of the day, but a bot could work for you eight hours or more, even pay for itself by helping you generate income. Run a shop? Deliver packages? Assemble products? That bot can do it all and help you make back your investment quickly. In fact, some analysts estimate a Tesla bot could save as much as 83 grand per year with a payback period under four years. That's a strong return if you're a business owner. Do you see yourself putting a Tesla bot to work? Or would you rather wait and see if this all plays out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if buying feels too steep, Tesla's also looking into a lease or rental plan a smart move, especially early on. Leasing means Tesla keeps control, can monitor safety, and can roll out updates faster. Plus, it lets companies and everyday people try a bot before committing to buying one. Would you lease one? Tell me your take. Would you rather buy or rent your bot? We also need to acknowledge the risks. Even Musk himself has warned that AI must be handled carefully. Remember, AI can be more dangerous than nuclear power if it's misused. That's why Tesla's committed to careful, responsible deployment. They want to make sure Optimus stays a helpful assistant, not some sci-fi nightmare. Tesla's plan is to first put Optimus to work in its own factories. Thousands of bots will help Tesla make its cars faster and safer, and they'll only sell to customers when they know the bot can do its job reliably. In short, Tesla isn't racing to sell bots just for profit. They want to nail safety, performance, and utility first. Would you feel better knowing they're testing these bots internally before bringing them to your doorstep? That's a smart, responsible plan, right? And before you go, here's why all this matters. Optimus isn't just some gadget, it could change work as we know it. Tesla's not trying to replace humans, they're creating tools to help people do more. Think about how you could use a bot to simplify your daily routine or take care of dangerous or boring jobs. The Tesla bot could give you back time to do what really matters most, whether that's creating, spending time with loved ones, or just relaxing. So what do you think? Would you welcome a Tesla bot into your life? Could you imagine one in your home or workplace? I'd love to hear your thoughts, drop a comment, and join the discussion. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and your support really helps us grow. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.